Video games are not books, Cat. Yet we used to play video. Fuck off. Yet we used to play video games together. So shut the fuck up. Did not. Did too. Uh uh. Uh huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. Uh uh. Uh huh. Did not. Did too. Three hours later. Uh uh. Uh huh. <laughs> no. Yes. No. Yes. That's not. <laughs> All right, both of you lovebirds, settle down. We're not oh. lovebirds. Hello? We're back with Doki Doki Switcheroo, and I'm also here with, um, with Roach for this. That, that's me. Hi. Hello. What's up? We're continuing with Act 2. Hopefully you guys can see it. So, when I was continuing, this started. There's a box right Whoa. here. Is that supposed to happen? No, I'm supposed to be in my room. <laughs> I'm supposed to be in my room. I can just tell that Roach is, like, oh. smiling. All of you get ready for some excited How and incredible chaos. And the chaos has started. How the fuck did I get outside? Valid question. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oops. Hey, hot dog, why don't you read this dude? Wait, what? Okay. okay. Oh. Uh, Cause Mateo, cause Mateo's dead. So, <laughs> yeah, you should read the unknown character. Oh yeah, cause he is Whoop. dead. Whoops, that wasn't right. Man, I can't separate her from her memory without compromising her. Let me try this. Oh, that worked. Okay, now if I just got it. You muted me, you son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, it may not be perfect, but it should work for now. Oh. My. God. You cannot be serious. Please. What's the matter? I hope so. Only- Only way to know for sure is to test her out. Oh. Wait, what? Why is my thing so oh, glitched no. out? What is happening? Ooh. It's an ordinary school day like any other. Mornings are usually the worst. Being surrounded by couples and friend groups while walking to school together. Oh. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. Wait, what? Wait. But wasn't it... <laughs> what? Oh. Wait, I love this. I'm so confused. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some boys or something like that. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I don't need no man, no. All I need are work and coffee. That's all I need. No motivation to join any clubs. I get detention too often anyway. I'd never be able to attend club meetings with my record. Even if I can manage to avoid getting into trouble, most clubs would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with anyway. Yeah, I would probably just slam their face on the floor. <laughs> the school day is boring as ever, and just when it's finally about to be over... Oh my god, there is- it's a change of scenery. What the fuck? Oh my god, look at the detail on these chairs! I like that <laughs> Bro, that tree That's is really a, poggers. This is totally not ominous at all. Very uh, fascinating. Yo, I feel is like these deaths will give me a goddamn splinter. <laughs> the school day is boring as ever, and just when it's finally about to be over, I go and get myself in trouble. Nothing serious, but enough to earn me some hefty detention time. It's getting late. I stare blankly at the wall and eventually nod off. Oh? Oh, we don't. We don't know who it is. Wait, why is there a light on? Dang it! Huh? It is oh. I. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Hi there. What? You miss oh. me? No. For a, se for a second, I thought I was the three question marks. Oh, that's a plot twist. What the fuck is going on? I am so scared. Oh, uh, the plot thickens. Hi. I don't recognize this guy, but his small stature makes me think he might be a first year. Whoever he is, he's kind of cute. Are Thank you. you. I mean, what? 
and he's also I pink. I can't read your thoughts. <laughs> That's definitely not what's happening. <laughs> Damn, he got called out. Bravo 6, go and knock. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are you looking for something? Sure am. I need posters and markers for my club. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> it's the Jehovah's Witness Club. You should join. Oh yeah. my god. Oh my god. Don't suppose- um, I don't suppose you know if there are any supplies I can use in this classroom? Oh, yeah. There's some crap in the closet. You can look through. Thanks! I watch as he makes his way to the closet at the back of the room. After ransacking the closet, he returns to the front of the room carrying a bunch of stuff. See you later. He says that to me as he heads for the door. But just before he gets there, he stumbles, dropping everything. Of course. Of course he would. Of course he would do that. Of course. What a loser. Oh, come on. I immediately jump to my feet and run to help him. Man, it's not going to be very fun to try and get the stuff back to the club. Oh. I appreciate you helping me pick everything up, though. I was faking it, man. Uh, no problem. Where is your club room, anyway? Upper story. I can see how getting all this stuff up the stairs might pose as a problem for him. Oh! Call the shorty out! I can help you take the stuff there if you want. You can? Sure, I'm not doing anything. Awesome! I brought some donuts to the club today, so feel free to grab a couple when we get there. It'll be my way of thanking you. <laughs> Thanks! It's not necessary since I don't mind helping out. But I don't mind sampling one while I'm there. I take half of the load. I'm Cat, by the way. I'm Natsu. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Whoa! <laughs> what the? Oh, f- hey. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't like oh, this. No. I don't That's like this. Account. I don't like this. I don't like this. Guys, I think Cat doesn't like this. I have a feeling Hot Dog is right. Cat may not like this. I, I don't know why. But Man, the school is weirdly like dark it. today. <laughs> I leave the question with a bit of a it's skip in my stuff. Okay. I would gladly sell my soul for a donut, so helping get these supplies to their destination in exchange for a new- for a few is a very fair price. For a new donut- <laughs> I follow Natsu across the school and up the stairs to a section of school. I rarely visit being general- st- WHAT?! <laughs> I rarely visit being generally used for, th- for third year classes and activities. It's already pretty late by now, so the halls and rooms are dark. My first instinct is to head down the hallway, but Natsu instead leads me to a strange door off to the side of the corridor. He jiggles the handle and pushes the bottom of the door with his foot. Gosh dang it, Woody, why are you squeaking? I can just already picture this moment with the squeaks in the background as if Natsu's shoes are just squeaking along to it. <laughs> I got. I, it turns out Nancy was secretly a clown. <laughs> what I mean, that secret? wasn't a secret. Yeah. Come here. You want this? Yeah, you really want it. Okay. Go get it. Yeah, you want this. Yeah, you really. <laughs> oh, you really want this, huh? Yeah, because he literally started to jump on me when I took it away from him. <laughs> and of course, he just got <laughs> the door opens and Natsu steps inside. Why does that look so scary? I stop at the entrance. Welcome to hell! Oh my god. (laughs) Inside another set of Wait, what? Wait, these are stairs? Oh, I'm not going there. I'm just dropping you off. Oh. Inside another set of stairs ascends, disappearing into the shadows. Weird. I didn't even know the school had another story. Maybe it's it's an attic? (laughs) It's the basement up top of the school. Yeah. Natsu stops near the midway point and turns to look down at me. You coming? I'm so I'm sorry. <laughs> um, you coming? Oh, of course. Uh. I timidly start going up the stairs, shutting the door behind me. The hallway is incredibly narrow and dark. Who's eating?
Dan, are you fucking serious? <laughs> <laughs> why do you always assume it's me? There's no light any- Oh, why? Why? Why am I being lured by oh this person God. into an attic with no lights? Children, do not follow oh people! God. Do not follow people into the darkness. Do not. Unless they offer you free candy. I am- No! Um, d Don't ever do this. I don't even know Remember, how kids, Natsu if this guy can offers you candy, going. there's probably more in his car. Natsu, why is your club room up here? Hmm? Oh, they're out of the empty ones right now. So we had to make do. Are we even allowed up here? Well, technically no. Technically but where else would we put a demon summoning circle? <laughs> but no one ever comes up here anyway. Besides, oh. it's only temporary until a classroom downstairs becomes available. I followed quietly, feeling uneasy. Yeah, of course! Get the fuck out of there! Finally, we reached the mm. top of the stairs. What the fuck oh, is oh, this? Oh, so terrifying! <laughs> oh, I don't see a problem. I peer over the top of Natsu's guy. head. The corridor yeah. is dark and right, colorless. Getting weird Dang and Wampa vibes. The only real Dang light Wampa. source up here is a single blinking iridescent bulb. The illumination is the illumination being so dull, it's only noticeable from the top of the stairs. The bulb hums and crackles with each flicker. It feels cold up here. There's dust on the windowsills and cobwebs on the doors. There's an overall musty smell that fills the entire space. It looks like no one has been up here in years. Man, the jam I... sucks. <laughs> I guess I can understand why no one comes up here. Bad wiring, poor ventilation. There's probably even mice living in the walls. Nah. People don't like coming up here because of the rumors. Oh, rumors? That's, that's just that's just great. That's so great. <sighs> rumors? What? Rumors. Anyway, the club room isn't here. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Okay then. Natsu approaches a wooden door that has had the paint stripped away. It's the only door without a small window on it. I follow as Natsu swings open the classroom door with a sickening. I'm back, guys. Oh my god. Uh, the I see sound. you've got a guest with you. That sound. Did you not hear the music? Yeah, I just hear the normal Doki Doki sound. Why? Why is Satori's eyes so oh, sore? What? Why does he look oh, that's so bad? Wow. Oh. oh. Great. A girl. <laughs> I feel so heartbroken right now. <laughs> Help yourself to the left paint chip over there. The sweet Satori that I know and love is gone! Natsuki faked him this morning. Let the nagging begin. Oh my god! Fuck. Satori, <laughs> shut up. She was helping with supplies because you're useless. Uh, oh, I wouldn't exactly call in this that situation. Bad. This club. It's full of incredibly cute guys, except for that one. That one is a piece of shit. It, what happened to the soul in his the souls in his eyes? He looks so dull now. He's on drugs. Oh, Gentlemen, please. Okay, so so I'm just guy in the one now. Got it. Yep. The tall guy turns so. turns towards me after gently scolding the others. You needn't pay it, them any mind. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, oh, well, he's a little bit bold ever since the last time I seen him. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Yuri, and the ill-tempered one is Tori. Oh, yeah, now, now, now we're going from Yuri yes. versus Natsuko to Yuri versus Satori. Okay! Alright! Oh. I actually think it's Natsuko versus Satori. But it's actually not and Tori. Already not to Koi. <laughs> it's not to Yuri, you know that. I told you so many times already. Natsuko responds through gritted teeth. It's weird that he has a girl's name. 
No wonder he doesn't like to go by it. Well, it's nice to meet all of you. I'm Cat. I assure you, the feeling is mutual, Cat. It is for me, at least. I am kind of tripped out. This is really weird. I guess it would make sense, because with that... Without Mateo, they couldn't get a room because Mateo was the one that organized them for them to get the room. Oh, the why the fuck God, is this I'm level dead. here that didn't exist before? <laughs> the one named Yori who appears who appears comparatively taller and more oh and more mature than Natsuko and Zatori hasn't stopped looking at me since mm. I walked in. Oh no. Get the Fuck chocolate. no! Yuri, oh, clo yes. Yuri, close your fucking mouth. Keep your line. So, <laughs> sorry. now that you've helped Natsu with the supplies, are you gonna leave? <laughs> oh my god! I feel so heartbroken! Surely, you have somewhere else to be right now. Wait! Hey! Wait! That's <laughs> actually me, I think! That's me voicing it! And saying what's wrong with you, Satori? The only oh, person who would ask bro. that is the real ver is the real the only person who would ask that is the real person, the real like MC. You behind the screen. Oh, okay. I thought I, I was about to say I'm Rose. muted. Like, I'm clip, muted, uh, so I remember I'm muted, so I can so I literally is just saying that, and yet the new script forms out. You could check history. Mm. Oh. oh. Check history. Check history. Yeah, Roach is. Yup, there it is! There it is! Oh... So, um... Roach, you wanna explain what the fuck did you make? <laughs> Actually, I was oh. also invited to have a couple donuts. Is that so? Satori briefly glares at Natsuko. Aren't those supposed to be for members of the family? Hey, I brought them. I can say who and can't- who can and can't have any. Fuck. <laughs> Let me try that again. Yeah, no. So mind your business. I'm the club president, so it technically is my business. Well, I'm the vice president. Oh. Oh. So that's why! Oh. That's why! Oh my god, that's why he changed- that's why they changed! Literally, Natsuko is the fucking- like, Natsuko is his version of Satori, Satori is his version of Mateo. Now stop being a sourpuss and leave her alone. Satori shoots me one last contemptuous glare before taking a seat. I wonder why he's so mad at me. I don't even know him. Actually, you do! That's bullshit! Oh! That's bullshit! Let me out of here! You can just ignore him when he gets moody. He's like that a lot. Natsuko whispers this t in my ear. Come on, the donuts are over there. And while we're at it, how about I make some tea as well? The guys have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yori walks to the corner of the room and opens and oh, opens the closet. <laughs> Yori walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Satori and Natsuko sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward around Satori, I take a seat next to Natsuko. He scoots a tray towards me. The fall has already been peeled back. Help yourself! Don't mind if I do. I reach inside and pull out a glazed donut. Natsuko watches eagerly as I take a bite. It's delicious. Thank you, Natsu. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> thank you for helping me. <laughs> My pleasure. So, this is the literature club, huh? That's right. I know it sounds dull, but it's really not like that at all, you know? When did you guys start this club, anyway? About a week ago. Ah, I guess that explains why there aren't a About lot of- About a week ago. <laughs> I guess that explains why there aren't a lot of members. Well, it's not exactly easy to try and convince people that literature is fun and worthwhile. There you that's go. right, that's why we're looking forward to this festival. It's gonna be our only chance to try and grow this club before we graduate, right, Satori? I guess. Satori reluctantly agrees. Such different guys, all interested in the same goal. It must have been hard for them to start this club. Anyway, you had your donut, cat. We'd like to commence our meeting, so if you don't. Mind. Oh, fuck off, Satori! 
Jeez, no wonder we don't have more members. Hmm. You're such an ass. Thank you! She didn't come here to become a member. She came here to stuff her face. Does she really look like someone who's interested in literature? It's about self-expression. The ability to create a beautiful and unique work of art using only words. Words that express feeling and meaning. Essentially, it's for people who can understand and appreciate writing. I am kind of annoyed by Satori's attitude. I can't stand being talked down to. At the same time, oh. I don't want to get Natsuko in trouble for inviting me here in the first place. Satori may be a bit of a jerk, but he seems pretty passionate about literature. I respect that. Well, I'm not currently at any clubs. Mind if I stick around today? Who knows? Maybe I'll like it here. I mean, sure. If you want to. We're about to start a meeting anyway. You can stay and observe. It's a long shot, but maybe you'll find your calling as a writing. As a writer. Fuck. <laughs> I offer him a smile of gratitude. Thanks, Satori. Oh. I'll pay attention and take this meeting seriously. Whatever. <laughs> Yori returns with the tea set and places a cup in front of each of us. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, there's no teachers up here to object, so... Besides, doesn't a hot cup of tea I just help you enjoy a good book? I... I guess... I tried to impress her, Yuri. Uh, I wasn't. <laughs> Embarrassed, Yuri looks away, briefly scowling at Satori in the process. Well, tea and reading may not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. Yuri visibly relaxes. <laughs> I'm glad. What kind of books are you into, Yuri? Hmm, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of his teacup with the tip of his index finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy world. Uh, the level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally as impressive. Yori goes on. Clear. I'm a nerd. <laughs> Yori! I D &D oh my in my God. mom's basement. Wait, wait, is that a scar on his forehead? No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a shadow. I'm sorry. Yodi goes on clearly passionate about his writing. Oh my god. I'm sorry for Harry Potter fans. <laughs> but, you know, I do like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements immerse me as well. You don't say! Isn't it just amazing how a writer can be so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Oh my god, that's the first time that Danny actually said it without stuttering! Fuck you! <laughs> just because I have a stutter and a speech impediment doesn't mean you can objectify me like this. Oh, uh, I do have a speech impediment. I know, so do I. I like it how as soon as he says this, that he starts to blush, his cheeks redden. Video games are not books, Cat. Yet we used to play video- Shut the fuck up. Yet we used to play video games together, so shut the fuck up. Did not. Did too. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Did not. Did too. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. <laughs> no. Yes. No. Yes. That's not- <laughs> Alright, both of you lovebirds, settle down. We're not lovebirds! Hey, some video games require a lot of reading. This one, for example. In some cases, it consists of more reading than actual gameplay. And for your information, oh, some games can tell one hell of a story. Well, if a story makes me think or takes me into another world, then I really can't put it down regardless of the genre. What about you, Kat? What do you like to read? I'm not really much of a reader. 
There's a shocker. Oh, shut up! Oh, shut your oh. damn mouth. Satori mutters to his tomb self. I mean, um... Well, I used to read a lot of comic books and manga as a kid. Which, that is true. It's actually been a few years since I've sat down and read any of my old comics. Which is true! I need to reread my Archie comics and my Garfield comics. Wait, does that mean that Natsu can't read? <laughs> <laughs> I'm too embarrassed to admit that I haven't read much of anything since then. Natsu suddenly lifts his head like he wants to interject. But then he appears to change his mind and remains quiet. Yori, meanwhile, chuck just chuckles softly. Well, I'm sure if you stick around, you may wish to expand your horizons. I'd love to suggest some of my favorite surreal horror titles if you'd be interested. Yori sips <laughs> oh, his tea I've in a sophisticated manner. ASMR. Mm, oh my gosh, oh, that sweet, wonderful ASMR with Jimmy Tingle. Sure, sounds cool. <laughs> I say that with an un. Oh, okay. Sure, sounds Which? cool. But at this rate, Yori might as well be having a conversation with a rock. I like rocks. Don't feel intimidated, cat. You can read what you want in here. You say that, but yet when I was saying comic books and manga, you were about to say something, but then you just stopped. What the fuck? Because he also reads comic books and manga. So? Catch up. He's embarrassed about it. Do you not remember the character development we just had, like, six months ago? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like two <laughs> years ago, oh, do you yeah, not remember? This literally happened six months ago. It's been so <laughs> long. <laughs> do you like horror books too, Natsu? Me? No way. I'm a pussy. I hate horror. <gasps> ah! Okay, at least you can say it. Look! Look! Ah! Look! I was not expecting that, okay. <laughs> oh my sissy. Yori whispers this after taking another sip from his tea cup! That's the tea! Natsuko instantly turns his attention to Yori, his fists clench. What did you just say? Natsuko, you have a pretty big mouth for someone who keeps his comic book collection in the in the club room. Then again, everything you read and write is pretty childish. Oh my god, Mateo oh, would oh. never go this far. Why? Yeah. He's Especially not. Especially your poems. Like the one you left here last week. Mm -hmm. I hate both of you. Natsu, you write your own poems? Mm hmm. Well, yeah, sometimes. Why? I think it's super impressive. I'd love to read your poetry sometime. Natsuko blushes and averts his eyes. I don't know. Mm, not a very confident writer yet. Fucking say it, bitch. I dare you. <laughs> I don't know if I want to say this. Like, I... Ah! Actually, I understand Natsu's, Natsuko's reluctance. Sharing one's writing takes more than just confidence. It's a very intimate exchange. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Well, Yuri, that sounds like maybe you should set an example for Netsko and share your own poetry. That way, he'll be more comfortable enough to share his. How about you take your my poetry and shove it up your ass? Oh my god. <laughs> god damn. Yori also blushes and turns away. Looks like <laughs> Yori feels the same way about sharing poems as Natsu. He sits in silence for a moment. I have an idea. Yori and Natsu go look quizzically at Satori. Ooh. Tonight, we'll all go home and write a poem of our very own and share them with each other at tomorrow's meeting. <laughs> That way, everyone is even. Yori and Atsuko fidget nervously. <laughs> Come on, you wusses. It's not like I'm asking you to write a novel. This is a good idea, and you know it. Mm -hmm. Alright, fine. I need some club activities anyway. Especially if Cat decides to join. Then it's settled. I look forward <laughs> to seeing how creative you all can be. Satori suddenly looks at me. So? Yeah? What of it? I think you were up for writing a poem to share with everyone. Oh, now you want me to join! Now 
you want me to join after all the shit that you put me through for today now you want me to fucking join your club or is this club simply too boring for you? no it's just the club president that's simply an asshole suddenly the eyes of all three of them are on me i i'm not sure i wasn't even planning on joining any clubs this year and while I said I'd consider it, I'm not really... I lose my train of thought. Yori and Atsuko stare back at me with dejected eyes. Even Satori looks a little... Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> Even Satori looks a little disappointed. That's unfortunate. But not surprising. Cat? Aww, come on! Yes, I need to tell you the truth. The thing is... We don't have enough members yet. That's why we have to hold our meetings up here. We need four to be considered official and to be given a classroom for meetings. We've been trying really, really hard to find the new member. The president of the student council is giving us until the weekend. If we don't find someone by then, our club is going to be rejected. I am defenseless against these guys, especially fucking Natsuko! How am I supposed to? Make, how am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision with when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, you promised to join. I'll make you donuts. Oh no! Everyone's so nice, you except for you, to join, Satori. I'll kill Satori. Yes! Yes! I mean. <laughs> so if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these cute guys. I give a heavy sigh and look back at them with a defeated smirk. Well, I've decided. I'm going to join the literature club. The eyes light up with excitement. Except for Satori. He's... He's just dull. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we all can share. Satori looks over at me once more. <laughs> this club isn't an outlet to screw around after school. <laughs> we take literature very seriously. I wonder who that reminds me of. I wonder. I wonder. I suggest you do the same thing. I won't tolerate any slacking off. Understand? <clears throat> Mate I mean, Satori's expression and tone are serious. I nod. Don't worry. I won't let anyone in this club down. For your sake, I hope not. Just try to write a poem tonight, okay? I will. Good. There's no way I can express Satori, or any of them for that matter, with my... I can impress. Jesus Christ, I had too much to drink. <sighs> There's no way I can impress Satori, or any of them for that matter, with my mediocre writing skills. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. All I can do is try my best, I suppose. The guys get to work. That's the only thing you can do. Is your... Wait, what? That's the only thing you can do is your best. Okay, I like it, but I don't like it that that Natsuko's being so nice. Stop it! Oh, that was just me. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks again, Cat. You're a real lifesaver. See you tomorrow! With that, I depart- Whoa! Whoa! Okay! It's just cloudy, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just cloudy. It's There's just rain clouds? Talking about. There's still some sun out. Yeah. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three guys. Natsuko, Yori, and even Satori. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have- Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these guys. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. Sure. Sure. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. 
Whoa, what? Oh, you have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? So whether you select yes or no, you're gonna get a poem. It's just that oh. each option will give you a different poem. Oh. A riddle. So who's gonna read this? Oh my god. You wanna do it or? Who wants to do this? I can read them. Okay, go, Merc. I'm not doing anything. Alright. A riddle. I used to be frozen solid. I race whenever I see you, and I'm torn in half when it's time to say goodbye. What am I? The fuck? This is like some stuff I'd write. Hold on, wait. <laughs> I feel like I've been ripped off. Apparently someone's been listening to our music. Oh my god. Dan, isn't this like exactly my like go-to phrases? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That is interesting. Comment down. Wait, what? Why is Satori not there anymore? Because of oh. Oh. he's not an option. So whenever somebody's the president, they're not an option. All right, that's cool. That's good. That's nice. Um, okay, fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to save this. So now we have to choose between yeah. Natsuko and Yori now. So now we are only we have- to keep going or are we stopping We're here? We're stopping here. Okay. So now we only have two routes to go through. May I make a suggestion? Yes, oh. make the suggestion. Yes. Sure. I highly suggest you go for Natsuko. Okay. Oh. And I settled. Yay, go We're for the sweet boy! Like the first time. Oh, yeah, you're gonna have hella fun either way. No, I'm scared of Danny. Oh man, well. I hope there's a I hope there's a scene where they do the fucking wall slam, but it's in the real weird fucked up classroom. So like. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, Psycho, shut up! Yuri, Yuri tries to wall slam. His hands go through the fucking wall and just breaks them down. 